That was way too loud. All right, I'm excited for this one because I don't think Clash of Clans has ever made a bad warden skin. I mean, there are some like C tier skins, but I don't think we're gonna have any D tier warden skins in this video. Like the jungle warden is not a super amazing skin and maybe one or two other skins are not great. Clash of Clans usually nails the warden skins, but let's just start off. Let's start with the clockwork warden. I really like the clockwork skins because of the way they're designed. Most skins are just like putting new clothes on the warden, maybe changing his hair and beard, but the clockwork is like a total redesign from the ground up. Now the grand warden is probably my least favorite clockwork skin. He has 100% custom sound effects, which is what all the clockwork skins have, along with their one 100% custom design. So I think this deserves a pretty high ranking. It's either A tier or B tier. I'm going to I'm going to put it in the B tier, okay? Cuz the design is not my favorite Grand Warden skin, but he does definitely deserve a pretty high ranking. And let me know if you agree or disagree with any of these skins in a comment below. Next skin is the Gladiator Warden. I love how they added this cloud design in the Gladiator Warden. I love when they just add this nice little touch with this extra element. The design is not like S tier design for me. It's okay. I mean, they changed the color of his beard, I believe. They changed, yeah, they didn't really change the shape of his beard or anything. Let's look at him attacking really quick. Okay, we gotta go to a Town Hall 11 tutorial. Town Hall 9 is not gonna work. <clears throat> Make sure to always select your skins before you go to attack. Here we go. He set on air, that way we can see the cloud. The lightning bolt just, it just adds that nice little touch to it. It's an A tier skin for me. Next is the Jolly Warden. The Jolly Warden is one of the newest Warden skins, but I do find the antlers very strange on this skin. You don't see like any fake little band on top, like you have those little headbands with antlers. Like there are definitely antlers just sticking out of his head. Like he just, I don't know antlers grew out of his head or he got antlers implanted into his head. One thing I don't like about it is how they just reuse the sound effects from the Jolly King. Yeah, it's basically the warden version of the Jolly King. Like the Jolly King has the antlers, but this one makes sense because he has antlers on his hat. But how do you attach antlers to the Grand Warden? Like. They've got to be stuck in his head. I don't understand. Kind of low effort, but it's a it's an okay design. So let's put this skin in the B tier, the Jungle Warden. I mentioned this at the beginning of the video. I love the skins with personality. The reason the Jungle Warden has no personality is because he's hidden behind a mask. It's just like you can't see his facial expressions. He always has the and he's just staring at you. I don't know, I don't like it because it has no personality and it's super basic. I don't really like the design of it. I might put the Jungle Warden in the D tier because of literally everything I just said. You know what, I'm gonna put him in the D tier now that I think about it. Next we have the Party Warden and like I was saying, I love these skins with personality and the Party Warden definitely has personality. Like his animations and sound effects, it just brings it all together. When you place him down, he has sound effects when he's attacked hacking, he has sound effects. He has some of the most sound effects for a warden skin. He even has a knockout sound effect, which almost no warden skins have, but he has it. He has all the sound effects, all the animations, which just bring his personality together. He's like this hype, upbeat kind of DJ guy. There it is, the knockout sound effect. Yeah, look at this, his idle animation is just him, he's constantly listening to music and just bump into the beat of the music. So he is definitely going in the S tier. Next we have the Pirate Warden. Another amazing skin. He doesn't have a ton of personality, but he does have the parrot, which does add a little bit of personality to him. When he's on the ground, the parrot's just sitting on his arm just like a normal parrot, and it actually flies up in the air when he shoots his gun because he's gotta bring his arm out to hold his gun. When he's on air, it's really funny because his parrot is actually on his hat instead, and he carries him around. 
His knockout animations are also hilarious. When he's knocked out, the parrot is flying around his head instead of the stars, and the parrot's still trying to hold him up when he's on air. I'm just gonna put his ground knockout animation up on screen. I really like the design of this skin, along with all these animations that I'm showing you with the parrot that gives him the personality. And they change his beard a lot. Like that always gives the skin just that extra touch that just makes it look so much better. I'm putting the Pirate Warden in the S tier. Next is the Primal Warden. Now, I do not like the design of the Primal skins, but I would say the Primal Warden is my favorite Primal skin. It might even be above the Royal Champion. I just thought about that because that skin just came out, but this might might be better than a royal champion. I don't think he has custom sound effects. The thing I like most about him, we're actually gonna have to, we're gonna have to knock him out a couple times. All right, this should be good to see his sleeping animation. Yes, so when he's on, I think this is on ground, his book and his staff are like floating around him in a circle. This is just an incredible sleeping animation for such a bad skin. <laughs> it does give him a little personality. So this is actually on air. When we switch him to ground, we're gonna have to move this because of that little glitch. Yes, when he's on ground, he's actually holding his staff, but then his book continues to circle around him. He has a little bit of personality and his design is not terrible. So we're gonna put him in the C tier and not the D tier like I've done for all the Primal skins. Next is the Warden Master. The Warden Master and the Warden of the North are the only skins that have their names switched. Normally it's Party Warden, Pirate Warden, but now it's Warden Master and Warden of the North. I keep wanting to say Warrior Warden. The Warden Master has some really cool animations, but I really, don't feel his personality when I'm using this skin. He has a custom attacking animation. It doesn't like stand out to me as an incredible skin. This is might be a B or A tier skin. I think I'm gonna put him in the A tier, definitely not S tier, but it is, it's a great skin. I love how they redesigned the beard. They have that pin in his hair. I don't know what that's called. If you know, let me know in a comment. Next, the second oddly named skin, the Warden of the North. The theme is obviously the personality of these skins. The Warden of the North, I'm, I'm just gonna say he really doesn't have a personality. The only personality he has is this incredible, incredible selection animation. The best, the best animation in the game by far. I don't know when Clash of Clans is gonna make one better than this because it's, it's so funny. This animation, it's just never gonna get beat. I mean, it's a cool winter skin. It doesn't really stand out to me as anything incredible. I feel bad putting this in the C tier. They actually didn't change his beard and hair, but it's a good skin. It has a cool animation. It's going in the B tier, all right? The Warrior Warden, the, oh my goodness. This is amazing, sorry. I did not mean to put that in the D tier. I'm just gonna put it in the S tier because it won't let me put it back out. The personality on this, like the Pirate Warden, it reminds me because I guess his staff, you would call it. The way he interacts with it, it's like no other skin in the game. Yeah, we can look at his selection animation real quick. Let's take this into an attack. Ground, it's a cool animation, the way he attacks with it. He's not really interacting with it a ton. Let's go to air. He rides on the staff and then he shoots with the staff. It's, it looks incredible. We gotta look at these knockout animations and the sleeping animations too. So this is on air and so he's still kind of riding on his staff and it's kind of twitching. The ground knockout animation is all also really cool. I mean, it's not like incredible, but it's it's a pretty cool animation. Look at this, like this thing circling around him, just flying by itself. I love this animation so much. Let's switch him to air. Okay, so he like sits on it and it's just like his knockout animation kind of, but the way he interacts with this thing is amazing. The warrior skins are such cool designs. This has gotta be an S tier skin. I also ranked all the king and queen skins and the royal champion skin ranking is coming next week so make sure you subscribe for that video.